I yield one minute to the distinguished gentlelady from Oregon, Ms. Bonamici. The gentlewoman from Oregon is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I strongly oppose violence and destruction of property regardless of venue. The resolution on the floor today, however, is a distraction from the real issue regarding crisis pregnancy centers, which is that they regularly provide inaccurate, incomplete, and injurious information to people who, people who are seeking guidance and fact-based health care. Crisis pregnancy centers often engage in deceptive advertising to get people in the door, and then they mislead them about the services they provide. A crisis pregnancy center in Texas, for example, was caught telling people that abortions cause mental illness and implying that abortions cause cancer and infertility. I heard from someone who visited a crisis pregnancy center, and after she left, she started getting calls from strangers who were told about her visit. And another woman was shown an ultrasound picture of her kidney and told it was a baby. This deception is unconscionable, which is why I will soon introduce the Stop Anti-Abortion Disinformation Act to direct the Federal Trade Commission to issue rules prohibiting unfair or deceptive advertising of abortion services. At a time when reproductive rights are under attack, it's especially important for anyone seeking abortion care to be able to provide to find a real health care provider they can trust who will respect their bodily autonomy and their privacy. I yield back. Bye.